Hello again, my friends, and uh, you see, in 20th of September 2022, I had this guy hooked on the wall. So I may say, now for one year and 10 days, because today it's 1st of October 2023, this guy was working flawlessly. No problems at all. And uh, let's take a look about the production here. Let's go to this menu. And there we are. Okay. You see the numbers there. 1,106. That's a huge amount for, uh, let's say, around 1,400, 1,500 watts of panel. You see, I'm really, really happy with this guy. It came from Poland, from a company named Marsrock. If you want to see the video about unpacking and hooking up this uh, machine uh, on the wall, after one year, I have some things to, I don't know, name it advice or uh, tips, <laughs> okay? So, first of all, it's really necessary to have a better cooling. So that's why I have this extra fan down there. And this one is sending the air generally all around the machine. Of course, pushing the air into the intake here, where we have two fans for general cooling. And inside there, it's another turbo fan, I may call it. It's coming uh, on only when it passes 51 degrees or something. So, a better cooling, it's a must. This summer was absolutely hot. We had like 40 degrees sometime. And uh, it was hot like crazy. Without this little guy here, I don't know what could happen. But anyway, uh, the machine behaved really nice. Under heavy load, I had a peak of 1,000, almost 1.5 kilowatts of uh, delivering, uh, of delivered uh, power. So I'm really happy with that. Another, another advice is to have a fuse. This is an automotive fuse, like uh, maybe 40 amps up here. You know, these cables should be as short as possible because they are you know they are really getting hot it's it's a lot of power here my panels usually are working around uh, 60 volts today it's a pretty cloudy day so we have only 57 there and uh, finally i can't say uh, anything but this guy is really worth the money and uh, what else? As you can see here, I have a temperature sensor up there. As soon as the temperature rise, the fan start moving. It's no use to have it, uh, you know, running all the time. But anyway, as soon as it feels like uh, probably around 40 degrees, from the output, it starts moving the, the fan. Now I'm trying to push a little temperature there. It's not really necessary today. The production and the consume is very low. 300 watts only. You see, I got, I got nothing in the house. It's Sunday. It's pretty quiet all around and, uh, it's, it's not producing because it's no demands, you know. All right, this fan, it's tied to another install of 12 volts. I have my batteries down there. And by the way, let me help. Uh, let me help the batteries a little bit. It's cloudy, so it's not so much power. Okay, 102 watts going to my batteries and the fan starts spinning. Okay, nice. You see, it's not enough sunshine to cover 100 watts more. 
but I need to have the batteries once in a while. Okay, so uh, if you ask me, if you ask me it's, uh, if it's worth money, yes, for sure it's worth money, but consider extra cooling. You know, cooling is very, very important. You know, at least I may say in my area, we have really hot summers in the last years, of course, but at least it's not humidity. So it's a semi dry, let's call it summer, but extra cooling, it's a must. Any kind of uh, install, any kind of fan, any kind of, you know, it can be something like this. This one goes directly to, to the mains doesn't need any special treatment, any special uh, sensor or something. Anyway, extra cooling, it's a must. Uh, GTIL 2, 2000 watts. I really like it. And so far, it's doing a great job. Okay, thank you for now. So please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget, push like. And uh, of course, I'm waiting your uh, questions, your remarks. And uh, most, <laughs> the most important thing is to have fun. Bye-bye.